Bro, he, he's literally just running at five enemies. So he throws up this shield that's supposed to have a lot of health but not last long. But as you can see, he can make a lot of distance and almost completely kill an Orisa before switching into nemesis mode and pummeling the squishies. He is looking insane. Like, I can't lie at all. Now, his Void Accelerator, which is his primary fire, it doesn't seem to be too, too crazy, but it does apply crit. And once it does, it kills extraordinarily fast with no range fall off. And I'm gonna not lie to you, it's actually really hard to see the projectiles while he's emitting. But what I'm worried about is the void barrier. No one seems to be talking about it, but he like lets it up and there's a lot of health and a lot of time to close distances. That is a strong barrier. And that's not to mention he also has CC. So we're talking about barrier and CC, something that Overwatch was supposed to kind of tilt away from. So I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous about Ramacha and that's not even talking about his ultimate. Also, his pummel is extraordinarily strong because it goes through barriers and through multiple enemies, which is absolutely hilarious. I don't know. I'm, I'm concerned. I don't want to jump the gun, but I'm genuinely concerned. Of course, his block tanks him up quite a lot. It, it makes him extremely tanky, but I'm not too worried about it since that's his main tank aspect. But the Ravenous Vortex, the CC, is looking kind of wild. Cutting off of any sort of flying and slowing enemies in a small area, then imagine you throw up your barrier. His combos are going to be insane. But that's Peanuts compared to his ultimate annihilation. Moira, DPS from all angles, locking to targets, and as long as they're locked, it doesn't run out. Look, he literally just runs at them, punching them with his ultimate up, bro. Blizzard. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't just, I can't see this not be oppressive. Am I crazy? So I was actually listening to some other Overwatch creators, and I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that this guy will be overpowered. I think he's gonna be the most stacked, most overpowered hero Overwatch has ever seen. Now, I know my voice is messed up, I'm a little bit sick, but bear with me here. The reason is because every character should be dissected and looked at for their weaknesses, correct? Okay, but as a tempo tank, since he's supposed to literally control the tempo of the game, any good Ramatra will be able to adapt to any counter. I mean, just think about it, okay? Roadhog, no problem. Play at a little bit of a range. Someone with high DPS, throw out that shield. High mobility, pff, just slow him down with CC. You know what? Doesn't even matter. Five of them, pop your ultimate, jump on the payload, and take the entire area just for yourself. Shields, just shoot through them. I hope you guys are understanding where I'm going with this. Think of this logically, right? You have to think of, <laughs> I mean, this thing that goes through shields, I can't get over it. Because if you think of this logically, he is stacked. He doesn't just only have the most amount of abilities in Overwatch now. All the abilities are strong. All the abilities are useful. And based off of the showcase we have here, he looks overpowered. I'm just going to say it. I know people don't really like that since he's not out yet. And I don't know. Maybe this is a move by Blizzard. You know, you're going to face Ramatras who buy the battle pass early. You're going to be frustrated. Then you're going to spend money. So you can play Ramatra. Give him a taste for the own medicine. Maybe it's a business decision. <laughs> okay. I'm probably pushing that too far. I probably won't get to play Ramatra for over a month to get to tier 55, which does piss me off a little bit, but I digress. Crits, everything stacked. Get ready to get wrecked. Let me know what you guys think.